now we need uh, local storage the f mobile phone local storage in order to remember the user choice about the uh, theme selection that is either the user selected the dot theme or the light theme as well as later in the course we will also use the local storage for the purpose of when the user select the VPN connection that is to which country the user wants to connect okay so for that purpose we need the local storage usage so for that purpose we will use hive so go to the pub.dev side and simply search for hive this one hive click on installing and we just need this copy this dependency come back to your project pubspec.yml and simply add that here make sure that it must be in proper indentation with the get or cupertino icons okay that is no space forward or no space backward otherwise you will get errors now the next dependency that we need is basically the hive plotters which come alongside with it so we will search for hive flutter this one okay copy it come back here and simply paste that and click on pub get in order to install hive and hive plotter for using the phone local storage so it has been added successfully installed successfully if you see this as suggestion click on get dependencies and click ignore now right click on lib new directory you will give it name as f references right click on f references folder create a dot file by the same name we can say app preferences this is app preferences class so as you know that the concept of hive which is we use for saving data locally that is to the local phone storage so it is based on a box that is we create a box inside that box we put our data and let's say by a key name some recognition or you can say a key name for storing specific data so when we save it by let's say a specific key by that same key we can access that data whenever we need it from the local storage okay so let me tell you again the hive concept is based on a box imagine a box in which you put your things and later when you need it you just uh, take the things out from that box okay so the concept of hive is just like that so you can say static let we are basically creating that box make sure to import the dependency which is hive flutter this one hive flutter box and let's give it name as box of data static future initialize hive hive dot init flutter box of data at hive dot open box and let's give it a name data so we have to call our init hive using our app references as you know it is inside this app references class okay we have to call this init hive method on our mentor dot in order to initialize it and use it so inside the man method here we can say app references 
dot init hive and now the first thing that we will save is as I told you guys we will remember the user choice using this local storage using hive which we will implement and that is basically the dark theme and the light theme selection the user choice about it we have to remember so I can add a comment here that is saving user choice about theme selection which you already know the dark and light theme so you can say static boolean get is mode dark box this is error operator okay box of data dot get so if the mode is dark and the key name will be the same that is is mode dark false and then st static set is more dark boolean value which will be either true or false box of data dot put so the key name is you already know we are using this key name is more dark the value of which is inside this value which will be either true or false so now our on our main dot dot where we have our theme and dark theme of course after the theme we can say theme mode and the theme mode will be according to the f references dark is more dark so if is more is dark that is if it is true it simply means the theme will be dark so we can say theme mode dot dark otherwise else the theme will be light and the value of this either it is true or false it will depend on the icon button which we add in our app on which a user will tap and the user can tell its choice whether the user wants to proceed with the light theme or the user wants to proceed with the dark theme so if the mode is dark that is if it is true then the dark theme will be applied otherwise if it is false then the light theme will be applied